This video was made possible by the Content Creator Program. An MCOC champion is temporarily granted to select accounts for the purpose of allowing the community a first look at a new champion coming to the contest. All granted champions are removed from accounts before they are officially released to the community. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. This is going to probably be my last video on Guillotine 2099 before they remove her from my account. But in the previous video, I wanted to show how she was a great counter for spiked armor. Here, I wanted to test out how well she did against safeguard. Uh, so we're back in Road to the Labyrinth. You can see there that damage is capped at 1% per source. So anyone that has some sort of a bleed or poison, a damage over time of some sort, should do pretty well. So the first fight up here is against Abomination. Now, at first, it was kind of funny because I was like, oh man, I'm going to be taking uh, poison damage. And I was like, wait, no, this is not that guillotine. This guillotine is immune to both bleed and poison. So she is a great counter uh, for this Abomination. And as you can see, her degen damage is quite nice and is able to bypass the safeguard, okay? So she is a great counter for safeguard, but there is a downside to using guillotine on safeguard, which we, we will see in a moment. Uh, so this run did not go quite as well as my previous run. This is not gonna be a full run, uh, if that gives you any idea. Uh, we ran into a small little roadblock. All right, but here we go. Now, as you know, Guillotine 2099, when she finishes a fight, if they get below, you know, 5% or below health, it's a guaranteed kill. So I was curious as to how this would work. So if you'll notice here, she's uh, got him at 2%. And I'm like, okay, will this kill him? The answer is no. So what happened there is the safeguard interferes with that ability of hers. That makes things much more tedious. I'm not a big ramp up champion type of a person, but that first fight, if you can get it to where he's at 1%, which means you have to be very careful, uh, then you can still do it. But that's a lot more stressful and it's a lot trickier. And if you don't, well, then you're back to trying to build her all the way back up. And as you saw, the fights were over before she got to even 100 combo. And those pre-fight abilities of hers, uh, the one that power drains and the one that heals, they require her to have a 100 hit combo. So you're not gonna be able to get those in fights like this. Now, this is a rank three guillotine, and I'm also running suicides. So these fights are generally over under 100 hits. So here in this fight, knowing for sure that I've got to get him at 1%, but I also have to watch for the degen. That's the tricky thing about uh, fighting with the guillotine 2099 on a safeguard. That degen right there, if you wait until he's 1% and then try to fire your special three, the degen may take them out before you fire your special three. In the previous fight against Abomination, it was the degen damage that finished him off, but it was after the special three. So you see here I'm waiting because the degen was on him. As Soon as it hit 1%, fired off her special three, and now we're golden, but we have to repeat that every fight so it just makes it a little bit more difficult uh, to start the next fight with a hundred hit combo so because of that and because of who i am i would not recommend using guillotine 2099 uh in a situation like this but she can do it and if you don't mind just uh giving up that particular part of her the ramp up and all of that then she is perfectly fine for dealing with safeguard. 
You know, you can see here, she's tearing through things regardless. I just have better options. I would recommend uh, Archangel. I would recommend um, even Crossbones, uh, not Crossbones, um, Blade, uh, even Dr. Voodoo. Anybody that has some damage over time that doesn't require ramp up. You know, now look at this. She's doing a lot of good damage. But if I want to use any of her pre-fight abilities, like, you know, I wanted to heal up a little bit. And you see there, I got the little life steal. Um, but of course, with this fight, she's stun immune and she reduces uh, my abilities. Um, so I see that I'm still proccing the life steal, so that's good. Uh, but I'm taking the damage as well because the way I'm fighting, uh, this is not the way, by the way, to fight that Corvus. All right, see there? It was it went too quickly. I was actually trying to hit my special three, but the D-Gen took her out before I could react. So now I get to fight old man Logan without any combo up. But she's still good. She can still do it. Now, I want to show you this in this fight. Uh, if you watched my video where I took her into Realm of Legends against Winter, uh, not Winter Soldier, but uh, uh, Wolverine, uh, I wanted to mention a mechanic that I didn't mention in there because I wasn't doing any narration. I just uh, did some music on that one. Uh, but Guillotine 2099's Special 2 has a similar ability as Guillotine's in that it's gonna put a specter which will reverse healing. That's how I was able to take out that Wolverine in Realm of Legends. So you'll see here, uh, I'm just trying to bait out his special two, but you'll see he has a constant regen. Now watch this, look at that. See all those red numbers? He was regening by 30. Now all you see is red until the specter went away just now. So a very, very nice and useful ability, similar to the original guillotine. In fact, this one is a bit better because when you fire your special two off, that specter is gonna get on them. Um, whereas with guillotine, you had to play around and you had to get a little lucky and you had to fire off that special two and uh, at just the right time. So it was a little bit trickier. And there you see I failed again. Uh, I actually was paying attention too much to the uh, health and I wasn't paying attention to my own power bar. I thought I had a special three, which is why you saw me firing off that special two. And I was just like, oh, really? So now, of course, I don't have the 100 hits that I need to get any kind of lifesteal uh, going and it's Electro. And well, as you will see, she is not so good against Electro. Now that D-Gen can help. You know, you can hit him a lot, get the D-Gen, back off, let the D-Gen do as much damage as possible, similar to how you would do with any damage over time that, you know, not a direct counter to Electro. But you can already see that this is not gonna end well for uh, Guillotine 2099. Uh, and I knew that, and I was too busy looking up there, but at least we got that little trigger, which is very nice. Her heal, once per fight. And then here I just decided to go out with a bang. All right, there we go. Kind of committed suicide, but that's the end of that run. Uh, I don't see her as a really good option against Electro as you can see, uh, but that's it. Now, we end this fight with a quick little duel against Ebony Maw, and uh, for no other reason than it was fun, and YouTube has something against videos that are too short, uh, but look at that. See that cloak active? That was something else I wanted to definitely uh, show. Uh, but anyway, that's going to do it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video on Guillotine 2099 and how she deals with Safeguard. 
So click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.